Today on The Spiel. You know, we're here right now with world traveler of Jen Fortune here. Thank you so much Thanks for coming. So the Word of God talks about bringing Jews and Gentiles together. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And so this is what's happening in Israel right now. Listen, I can't deviate from the script, okay? Get this. We're joined by award-winning whiskey writer, editor-in-chief of Bourbon Magazine and Wall Street Journal best-selling author Fred Minnick on an interactive tasting journey bringing you all the way here to Southern Illinois. Welcome. What up? What up? Thanks for having me. Yeah, and then we got Richie Rich. He came. He's the guy with the drink. So it's a necessity. He's going to show off. He's got some some products that he's going to, you know, make some fun stuff with. And you're going to educate us. My heart stopped when she looked at me and said, Now it's your turn. What's taking you so long? Don't think too hard about it. I just showed you how it's done. I've been to Afghanistan a couple times, and I've had friends tell me I should write more real about my real life uh, experience. So the song This Is War is about that. Aisha's Creative Collections is here. Aisha, what an amazing job. I love when I, w when I make something mm -hmm. and they put it on right then. Oh, yeah. You know, That's awesome. It's priceless. That's awesome. For them to wear it and just walk off with it. Yeah. These are not just any fish tacos. No, no, no. they are tiki tacos. Tiki tacos. This is the spiel. I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams. They'll see, cause I've got perfect songs and melodies just waiting to come out of me. And you'll sing along like, oh, whoa. Fancy words, clever lines and tales that take you back in time. And you'll sing along like, oh, They should have believed in me. Should have believed, baby. Hi there. Welcome to the Spiel. Do we have a show for you? Very special today? show. Yes. Yes. We're supposed to have a beach party around a pool. We did have a beach. We're having a beach party. But We're it's having raining. it. It's okay. We can um, still go out. You know, we learn from our children. We dance in the in the rain in and the we rain. make in the puddles. And mm -hmm. now, if we hear the thunder and the lightning, we will take shelter. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we have a great place to take shelter. We're going to go inside yes. Chef Lasser Sorensen and Mary Jane's Tiki Bar, Tiki Hut, home away from home, mm. unassuming. You never know that this it's is inside the guest world Jeez. out here. You never have to. You're in Key West. I know. You I'm just made it. You made it. Absolutely. I love it. All right, I got something on my mind, okay. and I, I, th I thought it was appropriate. I mean, it really has nothing to do with anything, but I am not a fan of the key fob. Those are expensive when you no, lose them, yeah, by the way. Yeah, you lose them, and it's a ridiculous Why? invention. Um, you know, first of all, there's a reason that it's hanging there, so you can keep up with your stuff, sure. right? You need to keep up with your stuff. I have seen in as many days two people lose their fob, tear the car apart, it's down in the crack, and how did they really advance technology? We were already starting the car remotely. It's, it's just, I, I'm not a fan of the fob. They okay. fall down there with the French fries, right? Just needed to get it out in between there. The seats. I mean, I might leave it in my purse. The, the thing with the fob, it was very interesting. It was in uh, a, a couple, I love them, and um, they're having an argument because he goes, Oh, I forgot my fob at home. She goes, No biggie. I obviously have mine. The car is running. We're good. She gets to the airport and she says, Oh, do I have the fob? Oh. Well, of course you have the fob if you're there and the car was it's running. running. Mm -hmm. But then they had to tear the car apart. It's just not a good invention. It's the same way with the key. I mean, you could lose the key like that. The key is hanging in the ignition as it should oh, be. Oh, that's true. Okay? So, that's listen, true. fob creator. I'd, I'd like to have you on the show and explain why they did the fob. And then also explain to us how come they're so expensive when you lose them. When you lose them. I mean, it's like this. You know, it's she this. I, I did lose mine. All right, chefs here. Listen, we're going to do so much in this next hour. You better hang on. I mean, it's it's like this. It's yes. going to be a ride. It's All right. Lots of fun coming up. We'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. I never had the desire to go to Israel mm. until this year. And Tell us the backstory. I mean, you were invited. I was. A so. little known name. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford. It's like, Phew. Maybe. Yeah. I'll think about Let me it. see. Okay. Coming up later in the show. This is actually a cocktail that I took 
from a bar in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, the beverage director there, Shelby Higginbotham, she came up with this cocktail. It's called the Sky High Ball. My name is Carrie Southern. I'm a mortgage loan officer with the Bank of Heron. You know, it's just not enough to meet customers' expectations anymore. We really have to exceed them. Everybody's got busy lives. They've got jobs, kids. Not everybody can make it to the bank during business hours. So accommodating them and getting them into that dream home, that's my ultimate goal. Let us help you unlock your dream home. Find us at bankofheron.com or come and see us at any of our locations. Locations. Probably the most important thing in medicine is to have a home, a place where you can come and be seen and get treatment for minor or serious conditions. My name is Dr. Harry Carter. I see patients in very different situations and circumstances and at all times trying to make a difference in their lives. One should not feel like they can't come in with a problem and allow us to help them fix it. Come in, I think that'd be the best way and the easiest way. We'd love to have patients join us and we'd love to help serve them. Visit us at crhpc.org. We offer a large selection of steel products. We have the largest display in Southern Illinois. We carry probably the biggest selection of chains, chainsaws, accessories, chaps, helmet systems. We do have a certified steel technician. All of my parts guys are silver certified steel technicians. We offer anything from chain sharpening with automatic chain sharpener to a large selection of parts and experience. And experience is just hard to come by these days. We're happy to talk with you via email or on the phone or come in. Well, the spiel on location today, and we're a little upset with Mother Nature, but you know, this is supposed it to happens. be a beach party with lots of sun. It happens. It's, it's still going to be that. It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> you know, we're here right now with World Traveler. Uh, you know her. You love her. Her photography is is seen all over. Yes. She hails from Hawaii. Hawaii. And we have Jen Fortune here. Thank you so much Thanks for coming. So much. You know, I, I stalk you. I, I tell people <laughs> that you know on social media. We saw your travels to. Israel and we thought okay you know when I saw the tomb where Jesus was laid I'm like okay that's it we got to have her on so thank <laughs> you for accepting that invitation Absolutely. and what that must have been like it was incredible it was actually very timely and it's kind of funny because you know I've been a Christian for so many years of my life mm -hmm. since I was 19 okay and um, I never had the desire to go to Israel hmm. until this year and Tell us yeah. the backstory. I mean, you were invited. I was. A so little known name. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford. It's like, maybe. Yeah. I'll think about Let it. Let me see. Okay. So Kathy Lee just made a movie with Craig Ferguson, mm -hmm. and I was there to photograph the event, and it, I had been asked to be a part of this event, and so um, I was filming actually a party on the Friday night prior to the movie mm -hmm. screening, and I met her that night in person mm -hmm. and I was taking pictures of her and the founder of our organization, Modern Widows Club, Carolyn Moore. And I said, ladies, can I get you upstairs in the room alone? You know, that'd be a great photo op for our organization. Sure. They're like, yeah. So we went up there and I was taking their picture. I wasn't listening to anything that they were saying. I was just working. And then the next thing I know, Kathy Lee is holding a phone in her hand and music is coming out of it. And I'm like, so I start listening. And the next thing I know, I'm ugly crying. <laughs> Like okay, the, okay. when you can't control it. And her she song. had her hand yeah. on me and she was like, I know. So after the end of the song, she turns to Carol and says, this is why I want you in Israel with me. Oh. And I just said, me too? <laughs> and she said yes. She said yes. That's how it happens. Yeah. You know? You're like, hey, I'm available. I've just cleared my calendar. We're yeah. good to go. Yeah. So you, um, let's talk a little about, about your experiences there. And then you also have some, some things that you have brought back that you want to share as well. So what did you do during the course of your stay that we can show people in pictures? Because I think you like to do that. Oh, I just, uh, the whole experience was incredible. Um, I went up a day prior to just kind of hang out in mm -hmm. Tel Aviv before we got started and I actually got to meet a designer that I followed for many years mm -hmm. and it's my dream to photograph her designs mm -hmm. and I was actually able to meet her in person at her factory. Did you get a snap? Did you? Oh, we Did you? sat and we talked and she listened to my story and it, we looked at her designs and she said one day she'll make my dreams come true and oh. I'll be working with her in the future. Nice. Oh. And then the next day we went to Tiberias and okay. we met up with our tour group, the Rock, the Road and the Rabbi. The Rabbi is Rabbi Jason Sobel. He wrote the book with 
Kathy Lee's Kathy Lee, okay. The Rock, the Road, and the Rabbi. Okay. And I had listened to that book on the way to Nashville, and that's how. Made sense. Yep. Mm -hmm. it made sense. Isn't it something how all the roads kind of lead to Absolutely. Where you're supposed to be. The rock. Mm -hmm. That's definitely, you know, I want to take the road. I mean, you, you've shared that you want to go there. Has it become too much of a, of a tourist, you know, is it, is it somehow, um, are, are they, you know, is it depreciating or what, what is it like to be there? That is a great question. It is heavily saturated with tourists, but Erzo, who is our tour guide, said it so well. He said he loves it. Mm. Israel loves it okay. because people are coming mm -hmm. and people are learning. And especially if you study the Word of God, Amen. The, the Word of God talks about bringing Jews and Gentiles together. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so this is what's happening in Israel right now. Wow. Yeah. And being able to wake up, our first hotel in Tiberias, wake up open the windows and look at the Sea of Galilee, it took my breath away. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Wow. I, I was like, wow. wait a minute, am I really looking where Jesus walked on water? And then later on during the trip, getting on one of the boats that would have been a replica of what Jesus was on mm -hmm. and being on the water. And the better part of this is it was a stormy day. Oh, so the waters were raging. Awesome. And as I stood, fear not, my child. <laughs> that's right. And as I stood on the dock, I could just—I took a moment because I didn't want any moment to pass me by. Amen. I wanted to feel and embrace every moment. I didn't want to just be fast. And so I stood there on the dock, and I just closed my eyes, and I felt the power of God. Mm. And I got on the boat, and everybody was talking. And I asked the guy who was driving the boat—is that what they mm -hmm. say? Sure. I said, "Can I sit there?" Which was the entry of the boat. He goes, "It's wet." I said, "I don't care." Okay. And he said, he swept it off for me and he put me there. And I sat there and it was just me in the water. Awesome. And I, I was like, Lord. What an experience. This is where you said, peace, be still. Mm -hmm. This is where you walked on water. And then I said, could you give us a rainbow? And no. he did. Do not. Oh. Do not. See? Rabbi was teaching and a rainbow came up above his head and I stopped him and I'm like, there's a rainbow. And everybody just ran. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, We're yeah. going. Let's, let's, we've got to go. You got to go with me. Take me Definitely. with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're our tour guide. Yes. That story is amazing. What and you got? Yeah. Oh. I'm excited. Okay. So every time I go on a trip and I travel the world, I always buy one thing mm -hmm. wherever I go. And so on this trip, and it's, this is a little used now, but this is a menorah. And I have one, but this was just so pretty oh, and it exemplifies my personality, which is bling, <laughs> bling, 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 bling. So, yeah. And so um, the menorah, you know, is uh, significant for Hanukkah right. when they light the candles. So right. I also use it um, on Friday nights when I light my Shabbat candles. There you go. Into, there you go. Into, and what else do you have? Oh, so I also have a shofar. Oh, is yeah. it a horn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a ram's horn. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And we, you know, we want to um, continue following you in your travels. Mm -hmm. uh, what's next for you? Where Where are you going? I'm going to France. I have a client who um, is writing a story about the passing of her late husband, and their dream was to travel throughout Europe. And so I've been following her journey and traveling with her throughout Europe. And wow. so we'll be collaborating in the south of France, working on her book. And there you go. Yeah. That's awesome. God is good. Yes. We definitely want people to follow you. So what's the best way to find you? Oh, best way to find me is on Instagram. I'm at Jen Fortune Photo, J Fortune Photo, and on Facebook. J Fortune Photography. How awesome. can they get a hold of you, those that are watching today that uh, maybe would have? Oh, okay. Uh, they could join your, you know, group. Right, absolutely. So I am a chapter leader for Modern Widows Club here in Southern Illinois. It's a national organization. It's what took me to Israel sure. and has given me all these opportunities. Um, you know, with the p p passing of my late husband, you know, it rocked my world and it changed my life. Um, but I'm able to give back now. Good. So if you want to reach me, we have a Facebook page, Southern Illinois Modern Widows Club, okay. or just look for Jen Fortune. Okay. I'm easily accessible. You are, you yeah. are. You're Thank you so much. Yes. It was Always a pleasure. A pleasure. Yes. We'll be right back. Coming up on the Spiel. Prohibition really destroyed the, the bourbon community, the Tennessee whiskey community, and it shattered the Pennsylvania rye mm -hmm. uh, industry. And we're just now starting to peel away some of those old laws and people are starting to taste and learn about whiskey sure. instead of abusing it. 
coming up later in the show. Those summer nights in high school at Buckhoo Creek by the Rocky Pool. We were country boys, so we played it cool when she was around. Ever wish you had a little cash in your wallet to instantly pay someone you owe money? But who carries cash around these days? Now, person-to-person -person payments have never been easier. Introducing SPIN, Social Payments Instant Network, available to customers online or through the Legion's Bank app. SPIN makes it safe and simple to pay your part of the dinner bill, pay the babysitter, or the lawn guy. Pay anyone, anywhere, anytime. Just click Move Money to transfer funds to the account of the person you owe. All you need is their debit card number, email, or phone number. It's sort of like PayPal, except with the peace of mind and protection of Legion's Bank. Make fast, free, person-to-person -person payments instantly, safely, with SPIN. Available through Legion's Bank. Kitchen, bathroom, and flooring. It's all here at Home Improvement Warehouse. We have 40,000 square feet of kitchen, bath, and flooring products. We stock cabinets. We have some special order. They get here within two weeks. All our cabinets are all wood, fully assembled, very high quality, and we're much, much cheaper than anywhere else around. Someone said, to find a man's true character, play golf with him. Likewise, to experience the true character of the region, you should play its golf courses from the old oaks of Crab Orchard Golf Club to the hills of Cocopelli, across the shores of Pine Lakes to the links at Stardust. Find a challenging and diverse range of play that you can only experience when you visit SI. To find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit spielon.com. And you are watching a special The Spiel on location. This is MJ, Chef Lasser's hideaway, very unassuming. Um, it just made sense to bring some really cool folks from Nashville and that region here to Southern Illinois. We want to thank you guys for being here. Listen, I can't deviate from the script, okay? Get this. We're joined by award-winning whiskey writer, editor-in-chief of Bourbon Magazine and Wall Street Journal best-selling author, Fred Minnick on an interactive tasting journey, bringing you all the way here to Southern Illinois. Welcome. What up? What up? Thanks for having me. Yeah, and then we got Richie Rich. He came, he's the guy with the drink. So it's a necessity. He's gonna show off. He's got some some products that he's gonna, you know, make some fun stuff with. And you're gonna educate us. Try to. Okay. I'll do my very best to okay. bring you guys into the whiskey geekdom of the United States. That's it. We're here. The geekdom. Okay. Let's do it. All right, what you got? So what we're going to talk about today, he, what we have here, this is Uncle Nearest. This is actually, uh, this is a very historic brand. Yes. Um, Uncle Nearest is, is named after the gentleman Nearest Green, mm -hmm. a former enslaved person who taught the Jack Daniel how to distill. Mm, how about and that? so this particular whiskey is uh, as part of a kind of like a growing movement of trying to remember enslaved persons who... Um, were part of the distilling community. Absolutely. See, distilling in America goes back even before we're, we were founded. Right. So we were right. we were heavily involved as as distillers. You know, early on as a country, George Washington was even a distiller. And from the moment we we were formed as a country, yeah, we start taxing distillers. Ta distillers are like, I don't like that very much. So they take arms and they rebel against the United States of America. Yes. So the very first time that our country deploys soldiers against their own people was because whiskey distillers didn't want to pay taxes. There it is. And distillers have been in Congress, you know, countless oh, yeah. times uh, lobbying for their rights. Yeah. And so right now what we're seeing is we're seeing a movement of uh, trying to remember women who were a part of sure. the whiskey community sure. as well as like enslaved people. And Because you guys are like rock stars. I mean, you now have a whole... Um, you know, like a restaurant, you will just go to sample the whiskey, the bourbon. You've got them on display. I saw a beautiful display in Savannah, an entire, um, you know, bar dedicated to this. You don't have a lot of mixers. You don't have anything fancy. It's the lesson. It's the product. And it's getting to know it. Well, we've we've come to know, like, wine. We've, mm -hmm. People, like, respect wine. And they, sure. they've been doing tasting notes for on wine for, for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. We're just now getting there with whiskey where people are starting to realize that it has some of the same flavor complexities sure. as, as wine. Sure. And we're also starting to get away a little bit of, we're starting to finally get away from uh, 
the, the chains of prohibition. Prohibition really d destroyed the, the bourbon community, the Tennessee whiskey community, and it, it shattered the Pennsylvania rye mm -hmm. uh, industry. And we're just now starting to peel away some of those old laws and people are starting to taste and learn about whiskey sure. instead of abusing it. And Absolutely. So, and the whole thing is, is if you just, let's, so let's just do this here. I'm okay. gonna, gonna pour a little just bit. Just gonna taste it. We're just going to taste a little whiskey. Okay. So Uncle Nearest is a part of a, a fest, an annual festival I'm a part of called yes. Bourbon and Beyond. Oh yes. And they've uh, one of the one of the early uh, supporters of, of that festival. In years past, we've had Eddie Vedder, Foo Fighters, Robert Plant. It's an awesome festival. Yeah. Every September, one of the things we do is like we get consumers who are not necessarily there to talk about wit or learn about whiskey. They're there for the band. Sure. And so it's a great opportunity for me to educate people about how to, to learn and taste about it. And one of the yes. first things I like to tell people is you study the color. The majority yeah. of American whiskey and all of bourbon yes. has to go into a new charred oak barrel. Okay. So that color is representation of its time in wood. It's interacting with the barrel every single day. So after okay. we've analyzed that color, we want to bring it to our nose and we're just like wafting oh, it by. Yeah. You want to open your mouth too. Okay. You just want to put a little bit on your palate, feel it on the tip of your tongue in the middle and all the way back just to see how it feels around there. You want to mm. push it around your, your tongue to see, and you'll feel like the sweetness at the tip, the savory notes in the middle and the spice toward the back. You know what? That is something right there. That'll keep you warm on a, on a rainy morning, right? Now, this is this is your new product yes. that just came out, and it's, so it's kind of your is your entry level for Uncle Nears. Tell yep. us what it what is what is the makeup of this one? I know it's younger. Yeah, so it is. This is a, a seven year old Tennessee whiskey. It's our Uncle Nears eighteen eighty four. Mm -hmm. uh, it's our second, well, actually our third product that came on the market. Uh, the two that we have with us today are the eighteen eighty four and the eighteen fifty six. The eighteen fifty six is aged a little longer, so okay. that one uh, will stay in the barrel for nine, 10, or 11 years before okay. we take the whiskey out and, and mingle it together. Now, what are you gonna make for us today? We're doing a highball here. Yeah, we are. We're doing a, a, a variation of, of a highball cocktail. Um, okay. And so I, I've got to give a little bit of credit to, this is actually a cocktail that I, um, that I took from a bar in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, the beverage director there, Shelby Higginbotham, she came up with this cocktail. It's called the Sky Highball. Mm. So we're gonna be mixing uh, the Uncle Nearest 1884. There it is. This is our seven-year-old okay. uh, premium Tennessee style whiskey. Okay, no substitute will do. Yep, and then um, we're going to be mixing it with uh, a little bit of um, fresh lemon juice mm. and also some simple syrup. So this cocktail is essentially going to start its life as, uh, as a whiskey sour, really. And then we're going to turn it from a whiskey sour into okay. a Come on up. lemongrass oh, you're just tonic sit at the bar. highball. So now okay. I'm adding the simple syrup. Okay. So there'll be the recipe is going to be two ounces. This of, is Julie, guys. Of Uncle Nearest. Oh, hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. What's going on? You came in just at the right time. I waited. There we go. This time. So it's going to be two ounces of Uncle Nearest 1884. Oh one, boy. One ounce of. Um, just shake, shake. Yep. Oh, here we go. Sure, make sure they're on. Oh, yeah. Now, now why and are you shaking versus just like, stirring on this? Well, because we're using citrus in, in these. So you, whenever you use citrus in a cocktail, you really want to shake it to, to break down the elements in the citrus and make them mix with the, uh, the distillate a little bit easier. And you're showing off for the ladies. And like by the way, it's, it's tradition to, to cheer when everyone oh, when yay! everyone their cocktail. All right. Woo! Fred, I thought you should do that, buddy. Get it. Get right. it. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. I try to be uh, impartial. That's so Okay, nice. so... Isn't that great? It just okay. keeps you warm. Yeah, no doubt. And then we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of this uh, Peter Spanton. This is their lemongrass tonic. So ah. this is so this is the part here. The effervescence, the carbonation is what turns this from a whiskey sour into a highball. We could market his voice. The Absolutely. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a little garnish of some mint. And before I put the mint in there, I'm just going to break the surface cells of the mint to release the, uh, uh, the aroma. And that's called spanking the mint. Yeah, so I'm just going to do it on the back of my hand here like this. It happens. I mean, when there's bourbon and, and whiskey in the hall, that? it there's happens. Spanking. You spank the mint yes. there when there's go. bourbon. And that is amazing. That okay. is excellent. Oh, that's there so we go. We'll finish it so off pretty. with this mint here. There we go. Okay, so. so. What do we say in London like when we 
cheers or so well, well hold on you didn't you missed the, the best part about oh this geez cocktail so oh you're far. gonna do a topper oh. yeah so this the best Stand part about by. this cocktail is it also comes with a side of whiskey Stand as well. by. so i don't get me wrong i love cocktails what do you do first but do it together baby always you have to remember the star of the show oh. whenever making any cocktail is always the whiskey so love that that is true actually uh, okay absolutely so this one comes with a little side of whiskey to enjoy too okay so there and we how go do you, so, what's the proper way to enjoy it you just sip 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 what do you what do you do or you float it well no no this is just uh, yeah <laughs> sip 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 so this is the uh the okay. the sky highball Ooh, made yes. with uncle nearest 1884. what is it cheerio or what do you say in your country <laughs> we'll go with cheerio <laughs> cheerio. 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 cheerio cheerios awesome. cheerios that's amazing that's quite nice that's so good and then you follow it with the right you, yeah absolutely that's good don't get me wrong Chef i love MJ, cocktails you can come up and give it your give it your uh, i mean when, when they're the owner of the bar you almost have to invite them right I feel, you know? I feel wrong that you're not being Enjoy up here your own knowing place. you're a whiskey fan. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm always cooking in the background. That's, yeah, my that's where we're headed next, oh, baby. Isn't that, Isn't that really amazing? <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank we you. do want people to follow you. What's the best way? You mentioned the uh, yeah. social media. Yeah, so you can basically find me at fredminnick.com. Uh, all my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, or just search Fred Minnick. That's it. Yeah. Richie Rich, you're the bomb, baby. Pleasure. You're the thank bomb. Thank you so much for having us. All right, we'll be right back. Coming up on the Spiel. If we play Southern Illinois, I'm originally from Southern Illinois, Pinckneyville originally, and Panthers. Panthers, that's right. And in my song, I actually reference Bucku Creek. There you so, go. Yeah, there there is. Shout out. And later in the show. I mean, I look at a lot like the Ariel, the mermaid, and oh, yeah. there was a so kind beautiful. of a controversy, and I was like, you know, so what you if, had to get the blue. Yes, yeah, well, what if, what if she was blue? There is something sweet that happens every August in Shawnee Forest Country. When a summer of sunshine has blanketed endless acres of fruit trees and row after row is ripe for the picking. When you can pick nature's candy and savor the sweetness of a perfectly ripe peach right off the tree, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. To learn more, visit southernmostillinois.com. Of course, sales is where it starts, but that's just the beginning. Uh, what a person really needs after the sale is the ability to take care of that machine. It's an investment. In the event you do need repairs, you need trained technicians that know what, what's going on with the product, and we do have that. We know farm equipment, and we know outdoor power equipment. We sell a full line of Kubota. We're one of the only full line dealers in this area. Hey, want to earn some easy money? Who doesn't, right? With rewards checking from Bank of Heron, it can be as easy as using your checking account. It's a free checking account. You earn monthly interest. There's no minimum balance, no maintenance fees, free internet banking and online bill pay, even refunds on ATM fees. Best of all, to get a nice rate, just open an account and start earning interest. Rewards checking at Bank of Heron. It's not just a bank, it's a relationship. Take you back scene. What's up, everybody? It's Justin. Music. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> My first day. Hi, we're the Charles Luker Band. Curling her hair, jumped off the roof on double deck. It was kind of high, but she didn't care when we were eight years old. From that old barn roof, ten miles from town, she landed feet first on the ground. She stood up right where she came down and smiled. I was blown away, but acted unimpressed. My heart stopped when she looked at me and said, Now it's your turn. What's taking you so long? Don't think too hard about it. I just showed you how it's done. If you want to impress me, you gotta show me what you got. We're old enough, it's time to live and learn. Now it's your turn. Those summer nights in high 
school at Buckhoo Creek by the Rocky Pool. We were country boys, so we played it cool when she was around. With her deep blue eyes and light red hair, she was a firecracker with flames fair. I made a point to only see her there, then one night she leaned into me and stole that first kiss. I almost died when she looked at me and said, Now it's your turn. What's taking you so long? Don't think too hard about it. I just showed you how it's done. If you want to impress me, you gotta show me what you got. We're old enough, it's time to live and learn. Now it's your turn. Standing hand in hand and face to face With friends and family in this old country church And the butterflies are up with every word When she looks right at me and she says I do Now it's your turn What's taking you so long? Don't think too hard about it I just showed you how it's done you don't have to impress me Cause I know you're who I want Let's grow old together So we can live and learn Now it's your turn Alright Now it's your turn Oh yeah Now it's your turn Oh yeah Now it's your turn Today we're talking about Rolling Meadows, and it's an unusual property because I'm going to call it a, a sort of an eight minute wonder. It's about eight minutes from Giant City State Park. It's about eight minutes from all the local lakes. It's about eight minutes from SIU. It's about five minutes from the mall. It offers probably one of the best combinations of residential and, and rural living. We've got about 900 square feet, heat pumps uh, with built-in office, two bedrooms big enough for for king of queen beds, and so that makes an unusual property. Woodruff Management is the exclusive rental agent for Rolling Meadows. Just check our website, woodruffmanagement.com. You'll find us there. Click and you're in. My name is Ronnie Waldron. I'm the mortgage loan officer, at the card of a location for the Bank of Heron. Outside of the 27 years worth of experience, what sets me apart is my communication ability, letting the borrowers know up front what they can expect, so expectations are set early on in the process and they're maintained throughout, letting you know where you're at each stage of the process and what you can expect going forward. It's satisfying to see somebody go to a closing table ready to move into their dream home. It's more than just a closing. You probably didn't know this, but in Shawnee Forest Country, a kayak can become a time machine. Each paddle stroke down the Cache River can take you farther into the past. Explore the northernmost bayou in the U.S., discover thousand-year-old cypress trees and the rich biological diversity. Find a unique adventure along more than 15,000 acres of protected waterways. And when you've paddled deep enough for time to stand still, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. And welcome back to the Spiel. It's the backstage pass with Charles Luger and the band. Charles Luger band. Yeah. The band. The band. The band. Thanks right for there. being there. Oh, thank the you band. for having us. This, we, there they are. Their songs are really amazing. Well, thank you so much. Was there any kind of um, story behind any of them? Yeah, I've been to Afghanistan a couple times, and I've had friends tell me I should write more real about my real life uh, experience. So, the song "This Is War" is about that, and. Uh, part about traveling around Europe and seeing some of the homeless kids in mm. some of the European cities that sleep on the streets and so you just yeah. don't forget that you stuff, don't forget do it. it it lays it stays with you yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and by getting it out on paper and you're sharing it with others it becomes real and it's yeah. maybe just a little bit therapeutic for you yeah yeah absolutely um, what is it that you you guys are doing I mean I, I know you come from all different backgrounds and mm -hmm. you've got this great sound mm -hmm. now and you are coming together to play Anywhere, everywhere? Yeah, so we're doing, we play Southern Illinois. I'm originally from Southern Illinois, Pinckneyville originally. And Panthers. Panthers, that's right. And in my song, I actually referenced Bucku Creek. There you so, go. Yeah, there, there, it shout out. there it is. So we played the Duke, you know, 
Duke Coin State Fair. Okay. Uh, places like Costa Rica. We've played Nashville once in a while, Tennessee. Great. And Texas. You'll go anywhere there's so a gig. Anywhere yeah. there's a gig, yeah. 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 Do you have a day job? I mean, you have a real job? Or yes, is this... I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Most yeah. of us have to. I do We're... have a day job. Well, thanks so much, guys, yeah, for coming and well, playing in the rain. The the sound was sweet. We made it work, and you guys are great. And we thank thoroughly you so enjoyed much. it. And we want people to find you on social media. What's Charles Luker Band. Okay. You can find us on the website, charleslukerband.com, or on Facebook. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. And look them up. Book them, book them, book them. Look them up. All right. We'll be right back. When you lose your teeth, you lose not just the ability to chew and eat and smile, which is a big thing, but you lose a part of yourself. It was life-changing when I came into Dr. Hughes. It showed me videos and models, and these are the choices we had. These were the options. Training matters. Experience matters. The thing which is extremely important is compassion. It brings back your ability to chew, You're restoring a sense of dignity. Come in and see Dr. Hughes. The greatest thing I ever did for myself. My name's uh, Marsha Ryan. My parents were Ruth and Leo Garwin, and in about 1993, they created the Garwin Family Foundation. Its purpose was to sponsor students in the arts, science, math. We began with the MDJD program at the Schools of Law and Medicine here at SIU, and then about five years ago, we transitioned to Carbondale Community High School. It is our goal to give summer opportunities to really remarkable kids. And we typically underwrite four or maybe five to go to programs that are between two and six weeks of, in length. I would really like to thank them. It, without the Garwin Family Foundation, I wouldn't know, you know the possibilities that I have. Just thank you for like providing. It, it just reaffirmed the fact that the GFF was not only like generous in like fostering my academic interests, but also on top of that, like my other extracurricular passions. And so I'm so thankful for that. Yeah. We actually ask these young people to be adults. They're donating thousands of dollars to people getting into these programs, which is huge. Gosh, I'm so thankful for the experience that I had. It, it sounds like we're that we're doing this selflessly, but the truth is, we enjoy every last minute of it. You know, there's nothing I love better than jewelry and then homemade jewelry. That's right, that's and right. Aisha's Creative Collections is here. Aisha, what an amazing job. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. We just love your stuff and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, I love your tagline. You got to read that. That's the yes. most important thing. Choosing to see love, beauty, and creativity in everything. And you know what's amazing? A gentleman it happens to be part of our cast and yes, crew. I was going to say that. Chef Lasser Sorensen <laughs> discovered you. Even he saw the beauty yeah. and he thought, man, this is worthy of a segment. So um, you were telling us that you don't necessarily um, know, you know, as far as the stones and you're not going in, in search of anything in particular. It's just the color yes. and shapes that entice you. So talk about how you choose your well, designs. Well, they honestly is, this may sound weird, but they kind of speak to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, no, that's hey, great. And, this uh, one speaks to me. I'm hoping to forget it. It says, forget me, mom. <laughs> Leave. Yeah. I mean, I look at a lot like, the aerial, the there yeah. was oh. there was this thing with the the aerial and the the uh, mermaid and oh, yeah. there was a a big you know so kind beautiful. of a controversy and I was like you know so what you if, had to get the blue yeah I said well what if what if she was blue <gasps> like you at know that. Look at and that. I said you know because there was like oh there was she's black and she's white and she's this and I said well she why don't I just make a blue aerial and see you know what I took and when then, I saw it I took the water mm -hmm. and color. that's what I and I said well I can make it you know this is the the, the river the water and then it's this is a uh, copper mm -hmm. and then it's got the blue and so that's what I thought of when you know I just see stuff and I just come it up with my own you. version yeah. of it you know I think the one thing that people should understand whether it is jewelry or your clothing or how you present yourself there's so much thought that goes into mm -hmm. these things and it's not just somebody you know stringing a bunch of beads together mm -hmm. um, you truly you think about yeah. these things and and you want to inspire I can tell that about you 
I love the, I mean, I love when I, w when I make something mm -hmm. and they put it on right then. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. it's like they don't even, you know, put it in, you know, because I'll put it in a bag and they said, no, 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 don't put it in a bag <laughs> and just put it on. It's, That's awesome. it's priceless. That's awesome. For them to wear it and just walk off with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, just beautiful work. And, and any time, you know, we meet someone like you, we obviously want to help other people yes. connect to you. So what's the best way to find you? Um, the best way to find me is on my Facebook page. Okay. Um, I, I have a business page, um, Aisha's Collections. Okay. And uh, I have an SD page as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank and thanks for to Chef me. for finding you. That's awesome. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Coming up on The Spiel. Everybody's heard of a Teflon pan, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, mayonnaise is like Teflon when you put stuff on the grill. It oh, makes wow. sure that it doesn't stick. You owe it to yourself to come in here. When you lose your teeth, you lose not just the ability to chew and eat and smile, which is a big thing, but you lose a part of yourself. It was life-changing when I came into Dr. Hughes. It showed me videos and models, and these are the choices we had. These were the options. I had tried dentures, and they were not successful. For people that are frustrated with wearing dentures, we have new methods and techniques to give people basically a third set of teeth. When you have an extraction or an implant put in, your first thought is, that's going to hurt. I was completely comfortable through this. Dr. Hughes and his staff, they are wonderful. Training it matters, experience matters. The thing which is extremely important is compassion. It brings back your ability to chew. Come in and see Dr. Hughes, the greatest thing I ever did for myself. You're restoring a sense of dignity that's a life-changing event for many, many people. And it's something that we do here on a daily basis at Hughes Dental Arts Center. To find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit SpielOn.com. Right now we're going to Spiel it in Chef Lasser's Tiki Bar. Yes. yes, yes, and it's brought to you by our friends at Prairie Farms. We also want to thank Polly Eyes Pizza and as always, HIW, the Home Improvement Warehouse in Carbondale and Paducah. Yes. And our food is love host house chef Lasser. Lasser. Take it away. We're going to do fish tacos yes. today using wild Alaska salmon and seafood. We are. And Super uh, excited. I'm, I'm excited to have you here in my home. This is my little sanctuary. It's, yes. It's and incredible. This is, Stunning. this is where I cook when I don't cook. Yes. Okay. And uh, just uh, what I want to do today is make some fish tacos. This is a really simple thing to do. Everybody can do this. It's very simple. And uh, uh, we're going to start with a salsa. Basically, I start with a lot of these tomatillos, and I use fresh garlic, Ooh, yes. peel that, and uh, all my tomatoes that are kind of going, uh, you know, they go bad and soft, so this is perfect for our salsa fresca we're going to make. And then, of course, uh, the jalapeno, mm -hmm. that goes in there too. And uh, these ingredients here gets cooked in water with a little bit of salt, and then I take it out, blend it really quickly and that's where we have here that's over it. here and that's what it looks like so you can do this the day before and then mm. Uh, mm. what you do is uh, we add the fresh ingredients in there now but this is kind of the base so nice. what we want to do is just uh, put some few ingredients in there chopped onions of course all right we need some cilantro don't worry about stems you know stems taste good too so just cut that off and again like I said very casual, just cut in pieces. All right, I'm gonna put all these tomatoes in here. All right, so I think on the last show, I showed everybody how to do a lime correctly, but. Yes. Oh, wow, yes. that's a lot that's of juice amazing. out of that. Yeah. I need one of those. I like a lot of lime in here too, because you know, lime goes great with, with fish and uh, it, it freshen up the salsa a lot. And then of course, you know, you always have to set aside lime when you cook outside in a tiki bar for what? Garnish. Garnish for? Your margaritas. Exactly. Thank you. All right, we'll mix uh, Oh, look mix at the beautiful up. colors. Wow. You're gonna really like this. That's amazing. Okay, so. Right. Now to the fun part, the fish. 
These are not just any fish tacos. No, no, no. they are tiki tacos. Tiki, tiki tacos. tacos. Yes. And we are featuring wild Alaska salmon and seafood, sockeye salmon. I believe yep. we caught some of these when we were in Alaska not we, too long ago. We did, we did. Yeah. And uh, everybody's heard of a Teflon pan, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, mayonnaise is like Teflon when you put stuff on the grill. Oh, it makes wow. sure that it doesn't stick. Only on the spiel. You learn yes. things that could really help you. So, really help you. Really so help you. what we're going to do is we're going to take the skin side here of the fish and uh, we're going to put a little mayonnaise on here. And uh, if you think about it, mayonnaise is basically oil. It's an emulsion with egg. So this will make the uh, a, a surface that is a non-stick surface. Nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn them over and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And it has to be a real mayonnaise. Not miracle it, Not the no. salad dressing they, It stuff. won't work. Can't, can't. It has to be real heavy mayonnaise. Here's my secret right here. Oh, what was I? Was dang. Dang. Throw was, it on. Was dang. Was dang spice right here. Oh, you can wow. never get too much. You can't. That's why I love it. Wazang is you just throw it on. So you, we need a lot of it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put it on the grill. Oh, things warmed up. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hear the sizzle? It's sizzling, folks. We want to watch it when it kind of starts cooking, flakes out. It'll take like 10 minutes, 12 minutes at the max. Okay. And uh, we're going to really quickly get the stuff together we're going to put in the taco. Okay. I like a little red cabbage in there. All right, this looks great. And then I have uh, green onions for, okay. for anybody who wants that. Okay, we and eat those is, whole? Uh, Just put them on the taco? Yeah, I mean, okay. because these beautiful products, why chub them up? Exactly. Put that right into the taco oh, and eat perfect. it, right? Yes, yes. And what uh, kind of cheese do you have crumbled up here? It's, it's like a, a queso fresca or, you queso know, cotilla fresca. cheese. Yes. And, 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 you know, if you think about it, this is really healthy stuff, too. This is healthy, and it's yeah. fresh, and it's good, and you are showing us that food, food is, is love. Is love. Yeah. All right. We need t-shirts that say well, that. Well, here's what we're going to do, Chef. We're going to cook for somebody. That's what we're doing. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to see people enjoying it. Is there mm -hmm. anything else you need to add? Can we go to break? And, and yep. Okay. Uh, we're waiting for the fish to cook, and very shortly I'll have that ready. We'll be assembling and serving. So stay mm. right there. We'll be right back. You're watching The Spiel. Probably the most important thing in medicine is to have a home a place where you can come and be seen and get treatment for minor or serious conditions. My name is Dr. Harry Carter. I see patients in very different situations and circumstances and at all times trying to make a difference in their lives. One should not feel like they can't come in with a problem and allow us to help them fix it. Come in, I think that'd be the best way and the easiest way. We'd love to have patients join us and we'd love to help serve them. Visit us at crhpc.org. Um, my name is Ria Ya. I was a recipient of the GFF scholarship in 2016. I'm a rising junior um, at Brown University, uh, where I originally did my uh, GFF program. So, <laughs> yeah, things came full circle for me and I loved it. I was looking for an experience in something that I was somewhat familiar with. I looked for programs in biology and I found the Brown University uh, summer program and they offered a course on stem cell biology and regenerative medicine and I thought that sounded like the coolest thing ever <laughs> so I decided to apply for that. Gosh I'm so thankful for the experience that I had. Like I said uh, I'm currently a student at Brown and the sole reason that I just wanted to go to that school was because of this experience. I loved it so much and I loved the education I got there and I just wanted to continue with it. Like this program has influenced me in such a positive way and has impacted my life so much and I'm so happy. <laughs> we did wait for you. Look at that. How gracious. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Where's theirs at? All right. Again, we have to say thank you to our gracious host. Look at MJ. She just went back in and she says, I'm not going to be on camera. Of course, Chef Lasser. Food is love, always showing us Food a good is time. Love. Food, Food is love. Food is love. Um, go ahead and share these. People need to get busy. Wow. We need to thank Wild Alaska Salmon and Seafood for providing that fantastic 
fish today, the sockeye salmon. We have Captain Tony, um, rock star. You know, he's not only the fisherman, he's the processor, he's the deliverer, he is the guy. So Wild Alaska Salmon and Seafood.com. H-I-W, our kitchen sponsor. Mm -hmm. This list goes on and on. It does, it Home does. Home Improvement Warehouse in Carbondale and Paducah. If you haven't been there, you'll want to go. Uh, Prairie Farms, we love you. And I, I'm kind of fond of you, my sidekick. Why? I mean, look at the cool stuff we get to do. Oh, I know. I but but I don't bring it on. You act like I cook the meal and I. Well, well, you know, I'm just trying to be kind. You're just trying cameras. to give it to me, right? Yes. Give it hey, to we got to thank um, Charles Luker and the Charles Luker band. Yes. We got to thank good. Jen Fortune for coming by today. Yes. And Aisha. Aisha and her beautiful jewelry. Yeah, very, mm. very nice. And Stacey Pisoni for setting yes. it all up. Yes, yes. Um, you, you have to leave us with some words of something. Some, what was it this, this week? Love. I'm still love. saying love. Yeah, and we do have a, an announcement. You know, Chef Lasser is so loved, beloved by so many. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll also want to be looking for him uh, on his own show, Food is Love, that will be coming to Nine Network in St. Louis. So, for question. Him, yes. Do we get to be on his show? Because he's been on ours. You for know six what? Months. I think a cameo. I mean, that's the best we can do. Like walk right. through. We'll be those walkers, you know, in the oh, back of the train. Carrying a tray. It'll or be something? great. Yes, okay. we'll bring him stuff, right? Whatever. <laughs> Look at it. All right, Jimmy Buffett, you're welcome anytime right. here at the Tiki Bar belonging to Chef Lasser and Mary Jane again. Thank you so much for opening your home, and we got to go. Bye. All right. This is war. I pulled my gun on a man one night I didn't know. I washed his face and fear in his eyes as he fell to the floor and his blood washed the earth with its fire as he drew his last breath and he was gone when in Rome like a traveler in the night I wandered through the streets alone where children steal from young women on the trains who don't suspect Thing at all, a corrupted child does anything he can, like a prisoner on the lam without a home. But that was wrong. And yesterday is a record of the cowards and the bold. You can be the judge and jury or witness to the old. See my face go quiet when I recount the story told Cause when I turn the page, my blood runs cold An empty heart looks for comfort in the night But rarely finds that much at all I wash the lights of the airplanes overhead 200 souls asleep on board in haunted skies flying over promised lands over everything that leaves you want more but that was judge and jury or witness to the old if you see my face go quiet when I recount the story told cause when I turn the page my blood runs cold cause when I turn the page my blood runs cold Summarize how annoying it is having to move all your stuff to a location. <laughs> it sucks. You have to get up extra early. You have to like take a shower. Like who wants to do that? And then you have to go get all your stuff. Then you have to go to another location to pick up stuff from a different place. 
and then you have to pack it up because you weren't planning on moving it. And then you have to drive all the way here in the rain and get hit with branches. And then you have to unpack it all, carry it inside, while Marcus walks backwards. <laughs> True. And almost falls down. And then you gotta pack it all back up and bring it back. Yep. Are you filming? No. Oh, wait. You know, hey, did you see this backdrop? I mean, this set, it cost a lot of money. We had to have Hollywood come in and stage it and put the mermaids in place and bring all the stuff. They, they essentially dug this pool for today's shoot. Speak your mind. What's going on guys? We're here with Growing Media in the Spiel and we are about to record this band that I don't know the name of. Let's get it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charles Luker, singer-songwriter, currently living in Nashville, Tennessee, originally from Pinckneyville, Illinois, and we're here on the Spiel having a great time this morning. Sweet. Boom. Awesome, man. Hey, I'm Fred Minnick, Editor-in-Chief of Bourbon Plus, and I wrote this book, Bourbon Curious. I'm also the curator of an awesome festival called Bourbon and Beyond. Go check it out at bourbonandbeyond.com, but right now, you're watching The Spiel, baby. <laughs> oh, I never, never thought I did wait Not for wait. you. Look at that. How gracious. Oh my gosh. Life is hard and hope is real.